Hello everyone, and welcome back. Alright, well, we have a sergeant here by our buddy Steel Pennings. I think the last sergeant I picked was uh, from Pick Me 1977, um, Sergeant Naughty, and I think it was actually from my Naughty Bucket. Um, he's calling this one No Time for Sergeant. Um, hopefully this one's not going to go in my Naughty Bucket. But like I said, um, I don't think I picked one of these since Pick Me 1977's uh, Sergeant Naughty. But, um, the tolerances in these, I think, can be pretty good. And I know steel pinnings always put some good stuff in there, so... Let's see if we get in this. And this is the first time I've touched it. I haven't had much time to touch any locks, actually. But, it seems like one of the easier ones out of his package, because he's got a Yale in there. Um, well, he's got a, um, he's got a slag in there, too. So I guess it was a choice between that and the slag. He's got a couple small ones in there too. But anyways, let's see if we get in this one. And uh, we'll see what he put in there for us. Um, Alright, well I'm going to try my favorite pick from Trickmaster30. It's funny because he was using one of mine today and he said that uh, it was one of you know, his favorites too. And, oh, there's a good amount of slap in there. Um, and his picks are actually my favorites. I can't duplicate his either. I mean, I, I, you know, I've tried to. I had a swoop. I almost cried after I broke that. And I have not been able to duplicate it. I think that was pin two. I think we're on one. Or I'm on my tension wrench. Oh, that was three, but I had to squeeze underneath them. Picks might be actually a little too big for this. Let's, um, uh, this one from Daz Evers, our buddy Daz Evers. This is an awesome pick, too. Oh, I think there was a couple of clicks in three. Unless I overset it. And that's pin five. I just squeeze under him, too. Not sure if I'm feeling some counter rotation there. This is pin one. I'm definitely feeling counter rotation here. I didn't feel like I set him. Let's try that again. That's possible. I'm gonna move on. See what else we got. Yeah, that feels weird. Definitely didn't get one. Doesn't want to seem to want to set. Maybe he's not ready yet. I think that was a couple from three. I think I dropped some. I definitely did. Pin three, and he wants to set way up there. A little bit off of two, and now we're back on one again. That time it might have set him. That was another click from three. Might, might still be on one. I'm going to drop some of three here. All right, now we've got a deep fall set off of three, finally. And this is pin five. All right, we kept... Oh, no, that was pin four, I think. We kept that fall set, so maybe we only have one pin holding us up. I don't like the feel of that one. All right, let's see if we can find it. Pin five. 
way back there. And it was, and we're open. All right, yeah, that was a nice lot. That was awesome. A lot of fun to pick. All right, let's get it down here. Let's zoom this out for us. Actually, let's, um, it's his lock. Let's grab his pinning tray. I need those. All right. We don't have a key. So let's see if we can get that clip off. Wow, it's very thin. I don't even, that's not even a clip. I'm <laughs> sorry, I'm looking at that. It looked like a clip, that shiny thing. And it's actually this right here. Duh. That was easy enough. Stupid. Tolerances and these are pretty tight. I'm not, I don't even know if I'm gonna get this in there. It's gonna ruin it. Yep, we're not even gonna try. I think we'll be alright. There's not much of a gap there, and this is tight. <laughs> Extremely tight. Alright, I got it to move. There we go. All right. Whew. We got some threading in every one of those chambers. And all of them had to pick, be picked. Number one is pretty high up there, I guess. Yeah. One and four a little bit, but the rest are really low. I can see some threading in all of those. Standard in one. Standard in two. Alright, I think we have all standards down below. Which tells me there's going to be some goodness up there. Yeah, those are just all standards. Definitely threading in all of those. Alright, let's see what he has up here. I think that's an acetype pin. I think that's what they call that. Barrel type. And a long, long brass spring. I wonder why it popped out of there like that. This is a... I think that's a spool. I'll show that to you in a minute. Let me just get them out. That's a steel spring. Wow, that's a long pin. Holy moly, there's a lot of work done in that pin. And a tiny spring, because that's a long, long pin. But, and that's because he had plenty of room in that core for it, and another one too. Those were the deep ones. Oh, no, that's number five, sorry. And the spring that doesn't want to cooperate. Steel spring, very loosely wound, and... Four is in there somewhere, I think. What do we got? Great. That <laughs> flashlight don't work. Alright, let's try this one. My flashlights are going dead. Looks like... Oh, there's the pin right there. And that already popped out. It's a spool. Or a sharp edge. Come on out of there. And there is a spring in there. There it is. 
Oh, there he is. All right. Well, while we're here, let's check up here. Nothing. All right, let's have a look at these pins. All right, well, we definitely have standards. Uh, standards below. None of them are tapered, I don't believe. Nope. But up here, I think they'd call that a NASA pin. I call it like a barrel pin. And that has a long, long brass spring. Then we have this one here. Spool with an extremely sharp edge and another double spool. A deep spool and a shallow spool with a steel spring. And this long sucker here. It's got serrations, couple spools. There's a lot of work done there. Oh, and a little brass spring. Get over here. And another spool here with a very sharp edge to catch those serrations. And then another very long. If I could grab it here. What's that? One, two, triple spool. And then it's got that little nub up there. In a loosely wound steel spring. That's a tight steel spring in number four. Yeah. Awesome lock. Very nice. Steel pinnings, thank you very much, my friend, for sending it to me. I muchly appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching. Um, you can probably hear the printers in the background. I just wanted to show you this. I'm actually making a friend of mine at work... Uh, battle shots it's you know battleship um with shots and you know if you hit b2 i guess you gotta drink your shot and uh till you sink your ship but uh he has a sausage fest every year and um he asked me if i would make him that so i got i actually got both the printers working on it that's probably what you hear in that background i'm sure but um yeah well if you guys enjoyed this video please hit that like button uh, if you have any questions or comments, comment below, and yeah, everyone, please be safe and stay legal. Thanks, guys. Bye.